Hi, I'm Hollis Roberts, and I'm the program manager with Magic, and I am here today with our mentee, Anika, and her mentor, Erin. Anika, will you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Anika Rao. I'm a junior in high school at Carroll Senior High in South Lake, Texas. Um, and yeah, I started this program. This is my first year in January, I believe. Wonderful. And Erin, will you introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Erin Kelly. I am currently working for BNSF Railway as the I always mess this up, Senior Manager of Sustainable Development and Environmental Permitting. And um, I mainly work with uh, interactions with um, our rail and the communities as well as sustainable solutions, so. Oh, well, I am so glad I get a chance to talk to you both tonight about your project. So Anika, will you explain what your project is? Yeah, so I wrote a research paper with Erin about the feasibility of vibration energy harvesting in industrial transportation, which basically means whether or not vibration energy harvesting, which is um, a new form of sustainable energy, which uses vibrations that are emitted from transportation specifically for my research purposes, whether or not that would be a viable solution for um, large industrial transportation, such as um, aircraft, trucks, cranes, and other construction machinery and things like that. And I basically researched to see if that would be a good source of energy to use as opposed to fossil fuels for these types of transportation. Really impressive. And Erin, can you share a few of the things you noticed and enjoyed about working with Anika? Sure. Um, like I said, Anika, and we already kind of touched on it earlier, was in the video, but is an amazing presenter and an excellent speaker and really has a good concept of where she wants to go and kind of the trajectory of what she would like. So um, articulate on what she wanted to research, really good at posing questions that were involved with her research and really good at having a self-awareness about um, where she needed some help and where she needed to identify the larger questions for ultimately getting her paper to a point where it could be published. So I really, really enjoyed my time working with her. Well, that's fairly cool. And what are some of the ways you have seen her learn and grow this session? Um, I think it was really good to see her stretch herself in terms of Annika has a huge, fantastic course load. We talk about it a lot of all the great topics she's learned and using that experience with Capstone and applying it to something that is a bit more um, a passion project is really great. So seeing her get curious about an industry and especially one that was humbling and flattering to see that she, I worked in that she got really curious about the ways that they could improve it. And just ultimately, like we said before, really wanting to improve the earth, improve um, society, and also just the health of people who live and work around these spaces within infrastructure. That's really, really fantastic. And Anika, what did you find most helpful about working with a mentor and specifically Aaron? Um, I think, well, first of all, my project was really based on the work that Aaron does. I was able to learn so much from um, the specific work that she does. And it was really interesting to see a perspective that I've never seen before. So that really was the foundation of all of my research. So I, I couldn't have done this with any other mentor. And um, I also, even though Erin was very nice about it, she definitely pushed me to think a little bit differently and to kind of acknowledge some maybe problems in my research and things that I had to change to make it a better product as a whole. So she definitely like knew the ways to just bring out the best in my research, which I'm really grateful for. Wow, sounds like such a wonderful pair, you two working together. Um, did you, or what did you find out um, about what it's like to work in a STEM field or be a woman in STEM? Yeah, um, I, I have never had to research in this capacity. So it was definitely a challenge, but I really enjoyed it. I really like the satisfaction of learning something new and being feeling like a bit of a professional in it and um, feeling confident in sharing that with other people. So I really enjoyed that study and also just getting to learn more about something that I was really passionate about. I've always been interested in sustainability 
and um, in engineering, which is what I want to pursue. So getting to kind of find like a cross section that in this research just made me that much more interested in it. That's cool. Um, whether it's related to your project or not, what would you like to um, learn next? Um, I am a junior. I'm going to be applying to college this fall, and I'm going to be doing um, a major in mechanical engineering. So I, I'm definitely very interested in STEM. I'm really excited to continue that. And um, this, this project has definitely kind of inspired me for what I might do um, when I'm doing research in college, because I am definitely going to be doing that. So while I'm not 100% sure, I really did open up like new possibilities to myself with this project about what I'm interested in and looking at how engineering can be um, a primary solution for things like sustainability issues. That is really cool to hear. I'm going to ask you both a very similar final question. Um, Aaron, if someone was interested in joining Magic as a mentor, what advice would you give them? Um, let me think. I guess I would say if you're wanting to be a mentor, I'd say first do it. <laughs> um, because a lot of times I think it's really helpful to see that there's all this talent pool that just needs to be nurtured. So it's always exciting to see that people have different ways of thinking and um, working through problems and just seeing it from a different lens. Cause I've been in the space for a while, but yeah, I think equally parts, they'll push you as much as you push them to kind of see the opportunities and kind of reawaken your passion for your job and your space that, you know, you're doing it 40 hours a week and sometimes you're like, ugh, expense reports, ugh. Then you go, oh wait, this is really cool what I get to do. <laughs> so it's always refreshing to hear that and see it from new eyes. Yeah, what a great point and really insightful. And um, Anika, if someone wanted to join Magic as a mentee, what would you share with them? Um, I would kind of say the same thing, that it's it's a really great opportunity. Even if you're not even sure if you want to do STEM, you still get that clarity about what it really is, about something that you might want to pursue. And if you don't want to, that's okay. It's still learning either ways. And to also allow yourself to like, be open with your mentor and with yourself about what you're doing. It's okay to have challenges. Like, as I saw all of the other people who are presenting in their amazing projects, all of them like admitted to having issues with them and having setbacks and that's completely fine and how their mentors are able to get them through that. So I would say absolutely do it, even if you're not sure what it's gonna turn out like because you're gonna gain something and you're gonna still learn about yourself even if, you decide you maybe don't want to do STEM or you don't exactly want to study that specific topic, you still learn so much from it as a whole. Those are such great points. Well, thank you both for joining and sharing about your um, experience with magic. I'm really excited to see what you do next, Anika, and I, um, congratulations on such a phenomenal project. Thank you.